Hi everyone. It's a pleasure day to meet you all and uh, I welcome you all to this channel. And uh, I must assure you that uh, with the beginning of this topic what we are going to start with I promise you that you will find some informative sessions information that you require to be as a, a strong trader. You might be a newbie in this market, you might be using some stochastic indicators, lagging indicators and you might be thinking to become a full time trader but things are not going well. So there is no worries, I am here to help you out. So with the first, I will start with basics of this theory. I will uh, come with some special classes, some master classes. This is gonna be the first master class of the theory. After that, I will come in some sessions. In that sessions, you will start with some basic structures of engulfing that the theory I am starting with. Now the problem comes into the mind. Why you are here? Why you are at Forex Hunt? Why you are searching this topic? Why you are uh, going through this topic? Why you want to learn this topic? because this is the most advanced and most easiest topic to start and to become a trader. This works on all pairs, every commodity market, every currency market you can use. Even you can use it in stock markets that uh, particular uh, Nifty 50, Bank Nifty, Fin Nifty, these all topics. But I am specialized in gold. As a gold trader, I know where the market will potentially go. It may bust up, it may bust down. What are the probabilities? The probabilities are 90% that you will win in this market after using the engulfing theory. If you use this theory in a particular set with some set of rules, you will get very important knowledge. So as a trader, as a beginning trader, you must know the basic structure of market, the basic probability, what you will lose, what you will get reward, okay? So coming to the point, I will uh, describe in this talk, in this video particularly, that what is engulfing theory? Engulfing theory. Most advanced and easiest theory to learn. As a beginner, Coming to the advanced topics, you may find some difficulties in understanding the topics, but to start as a trader, as a new trader, this theory is very important to be understood by you. Okay. So in this particular video, I will start with only the basics, basics of engulfing. I will bring you some series in that particular series. You will find about the top subtopics, which are what is engulfing buy, engulfing sell, where to find the engulfing buy and engulfing sell, types of theory, types of uh, engulfing. Slowly, slowly, you will become a pro trader. Being with me. And I will try to uh, upload some videos on the basis of uh, how charts you can predict. How can you predict the charts, especially uh, the gold one. So XAU USD is a very beautiful pair. Why it is a beautiful pair? Because every new trader, every new trader wants to trade gold XAU. USD. It is a loving pair, but still it hunts the maximum SL stop loss. Some newbie traders wipe out their capital, wash their capital on the basis of one trade they took. So why this happens? Usually, this happens because you have are you are having a different mindset to earn a lot of money in a single trade. You don't think that might be a possible chance that your trade will go in a wrong direction. One wrong direction will wash your capital and you will be out of the market. So basically, you have to learn one thing, 
the most important thing is that you need to survive in this market especially in gold you need to survive protect your capital it doesn't matter how much capital you have invested it may be 50 dollar 100 dollar it doesn't matter second take out of your mind all the superstitious things you may know what i am uh, talking about the superstitious thing that uh, uh, today was not my day uh, today one of my friend asked me not to trade that's why i hunted the sl today uh, i met with some incidents that made my mood off that's why i got the sl no these are not the f- things that making you lose you are the only one reason you are the reason of your losses you are the only one who is buying or selling in the market you see market is going in upward direction and automatically you press a buy for example market is going in this direction you found wow this broke the support this broke the resistance now i need to buy you press a buy and market shoe and now you do what what thing you say the broker is keeping an eye on me whenever i buy the market goes in sell whenever i sell the market goes in buy whenever i do both the things in a 50 dollar account only 50 dollar account you do what you do go buy you do a sell when you sell the market goes in buy and when you buy market goes in sell and it ranges in between till the time you wash your account do you do what thing you have used particular 0.02 lots 0.02 lots this is fine in a 50 dollar account you can survive for 10 to 20 minutes but do you do what thing you press 0.02 when it reaches to the resistance what you have mark you don't need to mark these are not the support and resistance where market plays market is not idiot the players with billions of dollars are not idiot that they look to a support they look to a resistance and go for a buy or a sell with billions of dollars and hundreds of lots in their capital no in india i have seen some traders do what pennant triangle bull flag curve handle bullish flag bearish flag triangle rectangle what these things work in the market really no i have um, on instagram reels i have seen that someone has uh, designed a dinosaur in the market and from the tail it fall and he had posted it on social media and i know this is a meme but this also happens with this this pinnant triangle bullish flag and bearish flag what you call these are not the things you are here you are here with some special actions you need to buy or sell in a 6 trillion dollars market and what you do are doing what thing you are doing only a buy or a sell on the basis of chart you look in am5 you place some indicators and the indicators are giving you a very good result in the past no you are wrong indicators do what after market plays the role indicator shows here the price fall here the price bought and you think this is giving a signal in a live market no one can predict the market where it will go you can just plot some probabilities you can't to use the word definite in this market there is nothing definite there is nothing defined there is only probabilities only possibilities actions you need to combine some probabilities and possibilities to gain some results and the most important thing that is money management even after 90% win rate you can lose you can wipe up your account one single trade can lose 
can wash your account one single trade this is a conception this is a very good conception that one single trade can wash your account even with a 90% accuracy you will lose your account don't do these things you are very lucky you are very uh, uh, good my, uh, human that uh, and it doesn't matter that uh, where someone have uh, whether someone have uh, scolded you on the day particular day you are not having good relationship with your friends your family your wife your girlfriend you are having some uh, issues with your relatives that doesn't matter in this market do you literally think crores of players are playing in this market and you think that due to your personal reason the market fall or the market goes up and do you think the broker has this much power that they will uh, do that you bought in the market and they go for a sell no this can't happen brokers yeah brokers can manipulate with their spreads with their sltps but they can do that thing that you bought in 1902 and it uh, made the gold to fall down till 1880 this can't happen these things are done by the uh, banks some, some gamblers and speculators you are a gambler idiot you can't do this those who do the same thing again and again and lose in the market and they uh, blame market that uh, the brokers are doing this with me and i am having issues with my relatives i am having issues with my relationships no you need to learn some particular set of skills that skill will lead you to do the special things that no one can do in the market so let us start without wasting the time these kinds of money management tricks tricks i will uh, come with this series regularly now you have to do one thing you have to learn what is engulfing theory so basically you may have uh, watched in the youtube channel where you <laughs> go daily and search the 100% accuracy setups there you may have find some candlestick patterns candlesticks patterns you may have heard so in this candlestick pattern there are some uh, patterns such as uh, morning star i am just recalling you you did these things morning star evening star uh, you may have uh, some doji hammer and something more and more you may you have some chances that you have heard about engulfing candlesticks engulfing candlesticks these candlesticks there are two types of candlesticks in this candlestick there are two types of engulfing by engulfing cell and you may have watched some tutorials and uh, you may have uh, used the tutorial in the market that the market is falling down like this she have formed an engulfing buy this is sell candle this is a uh, buy candle and you bought and it goes so no crazy this doesn't happen at all you can find here 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 many times you will find engulfing buy engulfing sell is that the meaning market will fall after uh, making or uh, designing the engulfing sell it will fall no there are some rules and regulations of checking engulfing buy and engulfing sell there are 16 type of engulfings from which you have to use four to five kinds of engulfing this will build your life i promise if you use this theory this will build your life so firstly i will teach you engulfing types there are two types of engulfing engulfing buy and engulfing sell in engulfing buy this is simple there is a red candle this is called seller's candle and there is a blue candle this is called buyer's candle eating the previous candle and this is the this this is the zone okay and in similarly in engulfing cell there is a buyer's candle which is eaten by a seller's candle this is engulfing cell easy 
yes this is so much easy and i need to uh, recall some concepts let this be a seller candle you know seller candle red candle is known as seller candle and uh, the seller candle is like uh, this red with a wick i will explain this for you this is upper wick uh, sorry this is a wick this is wick okay this is body within which we call it a volume okay volumes are like this orders placed at the time of forming the candle this is open price this is closed price and the seller's candle forms like this it will open here fall close simple now coming to the next point that is buyer's candle buyer's candle is like this this is a buyer's candle this is a wick this is body which is filled with volume which is one of orders closed price open price okay and it forms like this it opens here goes closes shui this is our buyer's candle okay after coming to next topic i will cover in two series engulfing buy engulfing sell now in this particular topic i will show you two or three types of engulfing buy okay and uh, in the second video if you like this video i will come with next video and there i will upload a series and a video in which i will discuss some special types of engulfing buy some correct engulfing buys and some incorrect engulfing buys that will um, emotionally hurt you what you were doing in the market was opposite of what is going in the market <laughs> so engulfing buys like this there is a red candle form purple red candle and a buyer's candle came and broke the zone and formed a candle this is a zone from this week to this week in engulfing in case of engulfing buy you have to check the wicks in case there is no wicks you you can um, design draw it from here this this area but if there are wicks you need to draw the zones from the wick only okay you have to uh, mark a line from here you have to mark a line from here and uh, make it a box with a rectangle there is a tool in trading view rectangle you have to use rectangle to mark the zone properly and for for beginning period you can use it on a copy you need to uh, redefine the things on your copy you have to note it down in your notebook use a proper notebook for this engulfing buy engulfing sell all the theory you need to note it down in a notebook in a special notebook that will change your life okay this is engulfing buy and i have taught you how to mark the zone this is a zone this area is a zone where buyers are placed okay now i will um, do one thing this is first case of engulfing buy now the second case of engulfing buy how engulfing forms is red one red candle and there are two or three for example one second what happened hmm. yeah and there are two or three engulfing Oh, sorry, two or three bias candle eating the red candle like this, and you can mark the zone from here. It is important that after drawing the line from this week or drawing the line from this week, this engulfing this bias candle should break over the zone. 
this line and close above the line important for an engulfing by bias candle must close above the line drawn from wick of the red candle upper side okay this is important after drawing a line from this wick this candle this blue candle needs to close above the line you have marked properly in every case of engulfing by here also in this case it is closed above the line okay now yeah and this types of engulfing it is not compulsory that 3 4 5 6 7 candles are here 8 1 2 3 4 this doesn't matter at all any number of candles can engulf the red one but there shouldn't be any red candle in between this line and this candles bias candle means you can uh, plot 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 in this bias candles can be here okay but there shouldn't be any red candle in between the bias candle to make an engulfing buy to form an engulfing buy okay clear and in the third case is for example this is an engulfing uh, this is a red candle seller's candle and this is engulfing by like this this goes like this you will still mark it from here only this is the correct engulfing by okay this is the most important aspect that blue candles which doesn't matter at all from the lower side but yeah the body of the blue candle from upper side matters it should close above the line you have marked through the red candle so these are the basics that i have uh, i wanted to cover in this video and uh, after completing this video i have a suggestion for you please go through this video twice okay this is not an easy topic that i have covered today these are only two type of engulfing bias uh, please do not consider it e easy you have to practice and note it down into your notebook and uh, prepare this engulfing bias on your notebook properly without looking into this video but because it will not um, take you too much of your time you need to mark this on your charts and uh, implement this on your charts how to mark zones okay do this practice and in case you are having any type of question particular question please post it in the comment section i will reach out to you and uh, will solve your problems delicately so first of all please do the markings properly watch the video make the notes and uh, if you like the video please give some appreciation word into the comment section then i will make a new video a new series completing all the basics to advance so that you can be a pro trader without investing a single amount of money a single penny you don't need to uh, spend to learn this basic theory okay so follow this channel subscribe this channel so that you will get some updated videos regularly to complete your engulfings and i will come with some all the series that um, which time uh, which sets you should trade which pairs you should trade why gold why some eud cad agri usd euro usd gbp jpy which currencies are very strong to trade engulfings till time stay blessed stay happy follow and subscribe this channel thank you